It was during a weekend charity motorcycle ride where a group of retired Canadian veterans say they were mistreated by police. The Falcons MC organized the poker run, which included stops in Tabor and Bow Island, before returning to the Medicine Hat Legion. That's when over 20 officers arrived and shut down the event. Veterans have fought for freedom in, in, all over the world. And personally, I felt that I didn't live in a free country yesterday on Saturday. Among the roughly 100 riders were a few from the Redcliffe-based gang, the Dracools, who are known to have ties to the Hells Angels. Police also believe the Falcons MC group is linked to organized crime, although officers wouldn't address any one club in particular. There has been numerous observations around our community and others that there are individuals and groups associating with outlaw motorcycle gangs. The Falcons have held their local poker run for three straight years, which they say has raised over 10 grand for veteran-related charities. The police were following a 2009 addition to the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Act, which gives officers the right to remove any gang member from a bar or a club. But members of the Falcons claim police infringed on their charter rights, such as having the freedom of expression, peaceful assembly and association. We run as veterans and, and that's why we're allowed to run, because we are veterans. We're not a part of any other group. We're not a support club. Uh, we don't do anything other than our mission is to support veterans and veterans' causes. There is one noticeable link to the Hells Angels. The Falcons have a three-piece patch on their jackets. Any group sporting such a design must be approved by the gang. We have to ID by certain rules, otherwise we will end up in a world of, you know, um, hurt. Um, so yes, we do have to seek approval. Police see the ties as being much stronger, based on intelligence gathered around the province. Outlaw motorcycle gangs are a threat to our communities. Uh, as a police service, um, we take those threats seriously. The Falcons say they're considering an $80 million lawsuit against local police, claiming defamation, discrimination, and obstructing to fundraising for charitable organizations. Kyle Bax, Chat News.